So before I start talking about the battle move versus verb, and I'm glad you're here because you're one of their peers, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I said this by myself, it wouldn't have the same impact because I wouldn't have somebody to respond to it, right? Mm -hmm. So the one thing I didn't like about Mook versus Verb when it was all said and done mm -hmm. is the response to it, right? I know Mook is like the most hated. He's kind of like the Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. battle rap for the as far as like how they act and how people receive them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know that like all his peers just can't wait for him to lose. You know what I mean? And it's rubbed off on the fans to where they can't wait for him to lose neither. And the fact that he's been smoking people, even in the people who have, have not been having their best showings while he's smoking them, kind of made it worse. Because if he was having, like, classic battles, I don't think people would hate him as much. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that it's like, we love Iron Solomon and you smoked them. We love Lux and you smoked him. It's, it's, no, it's how, it's how his wins are being, you know... Like he he like you gotta think about it. Murder Mook gets the most credit than any battle rapper ever compared to the niggas that's been active and shit like yeah. that. Like so, you got niggas that's actually going to war with niggas that's fighting back, and they they these are becoming classics, all time classics. Yeah. And you got Mook where he's beating these niggas, but at the same time, we looking at it like they not classic battles. You that's feel like not, he's cherry picking people. I don't know. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Because hell no. He battled Iron Solomon, Loaded Lux, and Averb. Mm -hmm. How is that? <laughs> how is that cherry picking? Think about this. Iron yeah. Solomon, Loaded Lux, and Averb. Iron Solomon's only loss is to Moot. And L Mac. And L Mac. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? L Mac, for sure. But, you know what I'm saying? So, and but even that, it's L Mac. You know what I mean? Like, certain niggas, you shouldn't. It shouldn't take away from you if you lose to them, yeah. certain niggas, because niggas are killers out there. It's like losing to K-Shine. K-Shine yeah. is like a super killer to me. So if you lose to K-Shine, I don't think you should hang your head, dog. You really just but went if, up but against I a killer. Like with K-Shine, like if you're a star and you lose to K-Shine, even though on a skill level it's mm -hmm. understandable, mm -hmm. it's still like, oh, some of your star power got taken away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, because. Like Verb. Those are the niggas yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, but I don't think Murder Mook is cherry picking. No, he just, you know, he he's taking he's taking the top dogs, man. But I think people just want to see it more. Like we ain't really like it's almost like he ain't been phased. We feel like okay, if we battled the same Lux that Murder Mook battled, I feel like I would kill him. Everybody feel like they would kill that Lux. Battle the same Iron Solomon that Murder Mook battled. Yeah. We got we talk about this night. If Mook could beat him with that shit, this is what I could do. So how y'all saying this man is the greatest ever? And when we the ones that's out here doing it, he gonna come back get the most money, most recognition. Look what the source did. Everybody talk about the source. Yeah, I can't lie, that was kind of crazy. But but this is this like is they, they, they this is what's rubbing everybody the wrong should, they way. They should have gave a verb that credit, man. It should it should have been it, like if it said Mook, Are we Mook surprised, and Averbs, though. If they said Mook and Averb saved the summer, it would have made sense. Are we of course, but are we surprised though? Like are we surprised? Because as soon as we seen that, we are we we immediately broke down why they put that. Right, yeah. we know why they put it. As soon as we seen it, yeah, because Mook, Mook, Mook is like the celebrity face from the battle rap world. That the celebrity, and, and you see how the, the, the culture industry, has yeah. a problem with that. This is why we have a disdain for Mook. Vote? Part of it, he got to take some blame because how he carried himself. He backs this shit. He backs this. If I think if Mook was taking a certain approach, like. Yo, yeah, I beat Lux and I and Solomon, but they wasn't really on it. Like them battles was whack. You don't you don't hear that coming so you, from. So Mook. you think because he doesn't super humble himself that it rubs people the wrong way? Like he doesn't humble himself. I'm not saying he has to rub him, humble himself either. But yes, the way he's carrying of, himself. Part of, part of the reason why people want to see him is he talks cash shit. It's the Mayweather effect. The Mayweather. Yeah, that that I always. Yo, I told him I was like, yo, you're Mayweather. Yeah, and people he's might Mayweather. be like, oh, Mayweather's fifty and old. Da, da 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 da. It's not about that. It's just that he's the only person in battle rap that talks he, so much shit. He brings that the draw. Everybody wants to see him lose every time. It's not. It's not even about that. It's like because niggas ain't want to see him lose against Lux. We just thought he was gonna lose. We just thought he was going to lose. We didn't want to see him. I lose. can't lie. I didn't, we I, niggas want to see him lose to a newer nigga for sure. Yeah. That's different. But when he battled Lux, no, it ain't niggas wanted to see him lose. We all thought, including me, no, uh -huh. I didn't. I'm the only nigga that thought Mook was going to win, as a matter of fact. But everybody thought Lux was going to gonna smoke Mook. 
You know what I mean? So I don't. I would have to see what my prediction was, but I remember thinking, like, I'm, I'm gonna take you behind the curtain for a second, right? Mm-hmm. So some representatives from Shady and Total Slaughter called me while it was still being worked out, and they told me they was gonna do Mook versus Lux. You know what I said? Don't do it. And they was like, "Are you crazy?" I'm like, "Nah, this because this is what's gonna happen." I was like, "You got two stars, two people on Mount Rushmore that look like they unfuckwithable. You gonna hurt one of their stock for no reason. It's not like it's a mad shit on. It's just like, yo, you know, it's gonna get a lot of views, so you gonna do it. But it wasn't that. I remember feeling like it was gonna be Lux because Lux, like Murder Mook, is an angle based rapper. You know what I'm saying? At his greatest, he focuses on angles. I always feel like him and Real Deal." Are the best angle-based rap battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? And um, I knew that Lux, like he doesn't really have a, he doesn't really have a response for, like someone going directly at him. Like when before that battle, when did you ever see someone just go directly at his character and at him? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and I and I was like, I don't know if he he would know what to say. Because there was nothing to break down, and and that was and that's what caught Calico off guard at Summer Madness too. Yeah. Calico didn't know what Lux to prepare for. Well, nobody knew that Lux was going to be Malcolm X. Or the, <laughs> nobody knew Yo, that. That threw everybody. Bro. Nobody knew that. Yeah. So so when Hollow battled him, Hollow knew which one to prepare for. Even Ars, Ars knew which one to prepare yeah. for. Mook knew he's seen it three times, yeah. so he knew which one to prepare for. So. But that's, they also know each other, though. Yeah, so of course. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, that's the only thing with Calico. Calico didn't know which Lux to prepare for. Once niggas knew, it wasn't easy for Lux. He's battling top niggas. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and that's the whole thing. It's like, we want to see y'all niggas battle more of the top niggas. But they battling the top niggas. Like, Mook is battling the top niggas. Lux is battling the top niggas. Yeah. You well, know what well, I'm saying? Well, let me ask you this. Just to put it back on Mook and, mm. and Verb, right? Mm. So... You saw the press conference mm-hmm. when I was hosting it, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think I fucked up the press conference? How? With, because, you know, Averb walked off. Because uh, what I was going to do was I was going to say something in Mook's favor, then say something in Averb's favor and have Mook respond. Mm. Before I could even get that far, Mook was like, I mean, uh, Verb was like, what did he say that was hot? And I'm telling you, yo, this is another thing I, I'm, I'm glad I get to say mm. live is that, yo, when Verb said, Name me one joint in Mook's last two battles that he said that was hot, right? Yeah. I knew I had about 3.2 seconds to say something. <laughs> I, I was going to look terrible because I, want, I wanted to take a second and be like, hold on. And then, like, give you an actual, like, like four-bar quotable because you know I remember it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. But, I, but it was like 1001, and I was like, nah, it's over. Do rag the old murder. <laughs> 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 that, that's the only thing I could think of. That was the worst shit you could say. You think so? Yeah. Was that I mean, hot though when he did that? It was a good moment. It wasn't like he like Verb is looking for a bar. He's asking for a bar. I knew Something he was impressive. Asking for, there was but you, no way in three seconds I was gonna. Could you have done that? <laughs> <laughs> could you? Nah. The the only <laughs> other thing I could think of was uh they they beat math. Um. <laughs> so many clothes that he got him yeah, had a new outfit, outfit on. on. <laughs> but I was like, Verb would have shot that down too. Yeah, I was like, do you think that he was planned? fire? Mook said he planned on walking off. Nah, uh, but I think Verb was just in his so much in his bag, yeah. and it's like he felt like yo, you adding to the Mook gas right now because he's asking you for a bar, but you said do, I yeah. know, but I'm just telling you like his frustrations. He asked yeah. you for something hot. He said, and you said, <laughs> <"Do right." laughs> I'm the old murder. I would have walked out too. I would have walked to the. I would have walked to the crib. Yo, but here's another thing too. When you put me on the spot, I can't be like nah. Nah, you, you just put me on the spot. You just gotta be like, I can't think of nothing right now. I'm like, it's a thousand no, battles no, out here, bro. That, that, I would, that would have bodied Mook if I said that. No, it's just like because I don't want. I'm I not think of th- mad Averb lines. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Mook said the same thing. But then, then if that would have you got, it's, I'm a it's enterprise, nigga. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you I mean, should have said it. Like, then don't try to cover up. That's. Come on, man! Don't try to cover no, up. No, you can't think of like Durag the old murder was hot. It was a good moment. It, it was right, like as far as naming the moment. I have enough time to come up with five bars. I, of yeah, hotness. And that's when you just look. I ain't got nothing for you right now. But it's shit yeah, hot, nah, nigga. I, could, I couldn't. I I, I, I <laughs> to not say nothing. Cause a, yo, 
I would have got me and Mook would have got cooked at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't worried about but Mook you, getting you cooked. Getting I was cooked. worried about me getting You getting cooked. cooked now. You and Mook. You said do rag the old murders the hottest shit. Well, I can't said. lie though. Like, you know how you said, was I wrong for saying that? And you was like, yeah, you should have said something else. Mad people came up to me at the event and was like, yo, do rag the old murder was hot. Because they understand what you meant. Yeah. Well, I understand what you meant. I'm just talking about as far as how it came off. I'm yeah. asking you for a hot bar and you said do rag the old murder. <laughs> how is that a hot bar? <laughs> You feel me? I would have walked off too, <laughs> bird. Fuck that. Nah, because what happened was um, Mook actually murdered someone in the past and he had his dude rag on. <laughs> it was a murder of old. And niggas didn't know that it was like a triple. You know what I'm saying? It was an older murder. <laughs> <laughs> when they used to call him Rag. So when he came back and asked him, what you do, Rag? <laughs> Yo, <chill. laughs> Yo, just, and he told him he committed a murder. He said, Who you murdered, Mook? <laughs> and that's it. So it went from rag to murder, Mook. Yo, this is crazy about this. <laughs> Yo, me and you be talking around the, like this is good material. Like I swear, people gonna hear this and be laughing. But this is so funny. We haven't even talked about the battle yet. So look, man. Basically, I brought all that up because basically I was trying to say that I wasn't trying to play a verb. I was gonna flip the questions around. I just happened to do the Mook joint first. And then I was going to put it on Aver, but he walked out. But I honestly think that was a good strategy on him. Like, if he planned on walking out anyway, yeah. it was it added to it. Because yeah. people were like, oh, Aver got three old by the end. Da-da-da-da. Captain Marketable, man. Anything he does adds to the marketing. Yo, when we woke <laughs> up the next day, the it joint had like 70,000 views before mm-hmm. the battle even started. I didn't think it like people were like, yo, this is a great press conference. I didn't feel like that. I just felt like they was going over time. And, and that's what adds to the Mook time. Mayweather thing, too, because... The draw that he brings in, I don't. Yeah, he's not wrong for acting like that. Yo. No, I'm. I did yeah, not at all. But the, the draw, like if any any one of us was in Mook position, we would act exactly the way he's acting. Even now, yeah. defending himself against Verb, yeah. we will all act the same way. We could all bash him because it's cool to do it, mm-hmm. but we will all act the same way. He really feels like he's the greatest. When he steps on that stage, he's trying to display he's the greatest. He's a real competitor. Like, you know what I mean? If there's anybody in battle rap that you would say that I, John, John, and Don, mm-hmm. look up to, would model after, is Murder Mook. So I'm, I need to get that out the way before we get into this breakdown of the okay. battle. You know what I mean? Like, I would, you could say I model my whole approach and everything, you know, as far vision wise like I watch Murder Mook interviews I like how he breaks shit down his point of everything you know what I'm saying so Murder Mook is like a battle rap guy to me but at the same time being realistic the nigga had less than five battles in the past 10 years you know what I mean it's hard to really say he's the best you ain't it's a lot of niggas that's the best out here you gotta see a lot of niggas you know what I'm saying like you still gotta see a hollow you gotta see a t-top you gotta see me you gotta see a lot of niggas you know what I'm saying like to and once you see that like even three more of those like those type of battles even the arsenal I think you still gotta see arsenal see them niggas you know what I mean and then we oh I bet you keep the same energy through that, then it's a different story. Boom. Your face need to be battle rap. It need to battle rap in a dictionary need to be a picture of murder mook if that happens. Okay. But niggas is acting like he should be there right now. And I'm not saying he shouldn't, but judging from a body of work, I've done more than murder mook. You know what I'm saying? Like which, a which, lot of people. You know, done it's that. it's just historical relevance <clears throat> at mm. this point too. You know For what I'm sure. saying? It's like when you was the reason the first eight volumes of Smack DVD sold. Mm. And that's what the URL platform is based off of. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I but can you can't say he's the have. reason they sold. Like, <laughs> but he was. But a lot of them Smack was, was battled once. Was crazy he, though. It was, yeah. Smack DVDs wasn't about the battles. It wasn't it's, about the battles it, at the it, time. It, 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 it was, was just something was, that we enjoyed picking up. No, it's something that it started standing out more than anything else. Keep it real though. How many as Smack you was watching DVDs it? did you buy and skip to the battle at the end? I don't know. I did that mad times. Yeah, after after you see, but you never watched the whole thing. No, I did, I, I did, but I just watched the battle first. Was you was you watching? Was you getting Smack DVDs before the battles? Let me ask you that. Or the first Smack DVD you seen had a battle on it. 
You see what I'm saying? Because there was people on, that I was, was a battle fan back then, so I was looking for them. Joints. That's that's what I'm saying. That's the yeah. difference. We wasn't. But I, but, I, but I literally no. But hold on, no. I remember like the crazy Kanye joint. I remember the Jeezy cover. You know what I'm saying? I remember. I you remember the Kanye interview when he was talking about beans. He was like, "Yo, I can't." He was like, "I can't do nothing with beans. Like, like beans are street, nigga. I don't want it with me." That's like, a I fact. Remember I remember that. the like, Jewel I, shit. I remember Corey the guns. the Ti. I remember when the, the Corey Gun shit in the car. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like these are classic moments. Even when he had the nigga Smack Brother on there, Shea Davis all the time, Stack Bundles. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, like all yeah, the I other niggas. That was the yeah. nigga. Um, I forgot the other niggas' the names that they used to have rapping randomly. So we was watching Smack DVD for that anyway it's just that once we got introduced to the battles because the first one was jay mills inside castro it added to it though it, of course it, it did like, yo you see that battle of course it you did but saying? it's hard to say that murder mook was the reason niggas was buying smack dvds when they was buying smack dvds before murder mook was on it it was just as lit it's just by the time he came it was lit i think it got a little more lit between jay mills inside castro no, I'm I'm not den- that, yeah. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying it's hard to say he is the reason they were selling out. I'm not saying he didn't help or contribute to it. Yeah. When you say you're the reason, it's like it's well, hard no, okay, to okay, say. Okay, well, I didn't really mean him. I meant the battles. And I, I know even I know, still, I know what you're saying. But even I think, still, even still the battles. It's hard to say. You know what it is? It's like all right, It stood out more. It started to stand out more than anything else. I will say I, that. I give you an analogy. Everybody's going to watch ESPN regardless because it's ESPN, right? Right. But when they have first take, mm-hmm. it's like a reason to watch it for 99 hours in the morning. I'll give you that. that that's how I feel about I'll give the you battles that. I'll give on you that. Smack DVDs. I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you that. So, um, all right. So, getting into it, right? So, mm-hmm. first watch live. One mm-hmm. thing I want to say is that it was mad distracting. Now, I was on mook side of the uh i was on mook side of the stage but it was a lot of people rooting for aver up there so every time mook was rapping and i'm like all right that was hot that was hot it's like when he got to a line niggas ain't like that was trash fuck out of here boo uh, same thing with aver aver says i'm like nigga that was garbage you think this and niggas yo and niggas knew how i was so niggas is like yo you think this shit is i'm like my nigga i can't concentrate <laughs> you know what i'm saying so live what i said was i thought aver handily won the first round mm-hmm. i thought mook was good but i had aver second round i had mook winning it in a close uh battle right and uh, I mean, a close round. And third round, this is this is what fucked me up, is I felt like Mook went a long time, and I liked a lot of his shit. Mm. But in my head, before it, like halfway through it, I was like, yo, the fact that he's going this long, I think it's going crippled. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I don't know if like, since ever since like uh, Conceder and Arsenal went down, mm. I don't know how effective the I rap mad longer than you angle has been. So I didn't really know, especially because because it made me think about him and Solomon. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then Averb went, and I didn't think his third round was th- his craziest. I like I knew his first round was his craziest round, mm. but the way he ended it was perfect to me. With with the um like yeah, like, like just what, pull up and shoot shit. We don't we don't talk that long. Yeah, exactly. I thought he ended it perfectly, mm-hmm. but that wasn't definitive for me to say who won. Mm-hmm. based off my life so i walked out kind of confused <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then i got on the internet and it's like three oh he bodied this nigga and i was like word like that's how people feel because i had it one one going into the third see i watched it on pay-per-view and um told you got a lot of people in there I, I'm, I'm i'm excited to see mook yeah um, my man Vaughn, you know my nigga Vaughn. He yeah, loves yeah. Averb, the biggest Averb fan. Averb is a his, tall dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Averb is his favorite uh, battle rapper. <laughs> then it's me. Um, <laughs> but you know we in here talking shit to each other and all yeah. that. So I ain't gonna lie. The first round, Moot come out. I'm lit. Y'all done seen a vegan that made a mistake. I'm going I crazy. Like the, yeah. What? I'm my nigga. He had like his first. I don't know, but until he got to that, um, um, it, no, that was second round. That was second round. Yeah, I don't know which bars, but it, it was some bars that Mook said that bothered me. We we gonna get into. It. I don't know which round he said them in. The second, but we gonna get yeah, into yeah. it. Um, but anyway, but he came out on fire, um, and then he, it it kind of dri- 
it, it, it kind of drug out a little bit. Um, he was stretching his schemes out. It's like he, he like it's almost like you know how you can have a punchline, mm-hmm. and instead of just going with the punchline, he gonna make a whole scheme with. It. And I feel like that's what that's, he used to take up his time. Well, I think that's the crippling part of having long rounds is that. Like to you, like yeah, to you, yeah. yeah. When you get it, you know how much time you just want to take up the space, yeah. and that's what he just tried to do. It's just like, nah. I think if you give Mook shorter rounds, we're gonna see a Yo, better Mook. Two minute thirty rounds. We're gonna see a, a fire Mook. We're gonna see the best. We're gonna see the Mook that he's trying to deliver to us. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but when Verb go, by the end, of, just put it like this: by the end of Verb's first, I'm like, yo. Did Verb just smoke Mook? <laughs> For real, I'm looking at my man Vaughn. My man Vaughn looking at me. He like, and I'm, I'm yeah. and I, and I, I'm at a point where I can't disagree because I'm like amazed that I'm seeing. I'm like, oh shit. He was kind of going for Mook. Like, like I was expecting Mook to win. Okay, you know what I mean. So I'm like, yo, like, so it's like I wasn't mad that I that I felt like Verb. Like I'm actually happy because Verb is my man. Like mm-hmm. yeah, I get a lot of like I randomly call Verb from time to time pick his brain on shit mm-hmm. just because he he got a whole nother way of thinking and you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. and and i appreciate him too because he actually he knows what i'm calling for he he gives yeah. that to me you know what i mean um so i'm like yo did verb just smoke mook and i'm like yo this shit could get crazy he only need one more round and then i was like you know what he don't even need another round he's good i said this i said he don't yeah. even need to win another round Verb is good. You mean he's good as far as like what the expectation was going in? Yeah, like he yeah. won. He won the war. Like you battle Mook and you just got around. Mook is talking about he's about to fuck you up. You arguably never won a round against a Harlem nigga in New York, period, ever. And you battling Mook and you just, in my eyes, first watch. Mind mm-hmm. you, I'm giving you my recap from first watch. Okay. Verb just fucked you up. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So we get into the second. Now I'm really listening because I'm also, yo, Mook, please fight back because dog. And I, like, I don't know. You get into the rounds, whatever notes you got, because that's going to help me remember, you know, as far as the bars yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. going on. Or did you give me what you said, who you said won the second and third? Did you give me that? I, no, I, I said I thought Mook won the second round uh-huh. live. Okay, so. But I knew it was close, but I just, I had Mook. Okay, so watching it on pay-per-view, at the end of the second, I'm feeling the same way. Did I'm smoked him I, again? I'm not not as bad as the first, mm-hmm. but yeah, clearly okay. I'm like, yo, this nigga's up two zero right now, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, yo, and I'm scared for Mook. Now, when Mook started going in his third, he started getting crazy to me. Watching it on first, you know what I mean, and um, you know when Verb went, uh, what is it? It was a, it was a moment that happened. Um, I don't know, I don't know, uh. I might have, I might, yeah, the third. I might have gave Mook the third on first watch. Um, I might have gave Mook the third in the first watch. I'm just gonna say that. I don't think it was a three zero. Oh yeah, when they started yelling three zero, I didn't really feel like it was warranted. Yeah, but yeah, I I understood why they was doing it. I understood why it was happening, even though I didn't feel like it was warranted. And this is and this is what I'm saying now. Before we do the we the watch back yeah the watch back mm-hmm. i i felt like <clears throat> if mook want to say niggas just wanted me to lose a lot of fans gave him a out to validate that you know what i'm saying but it's not that. no no it, 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 but i'm saying like that part is not about him losing but it's about like with niggas chanting three yo three yo three yo it was an out for him to be like niggas wanted me to lose so i'm like why would y'all feed into that by doing that you know it doesn't. Saying? It doesn't matter though. You got to think everything. Mook was smoking verb on every last face off. Every yeah, last face off. <laughs> that is true. We believed everything Mook was giving us. He's about to elevate the game. He's about to fuck verb up. Verb about to retire after this. Do bliss three, four, five, six, seven. He's ready to go right now. He's putting bliss his daughters. Three, four, put his daughter on the line he put you know uh, what i mean like i'm come on like <laughs> we, we we here so when we watch we watching it happen and we like yo verb is giving you that smoke right now but yeah. you know um so i think that's what it is he kind of put that on himself and it, it comes with the territory man like it, 
It's like we couldn't believe what we were seeing. So yeah, you gonna get a three, yo. Welcome back. Like you, can't, okay. you ain't invincible, nigga. You, 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 you mortal. I, it, you know, it's crazy because we, me and you, were talking about that tweet I had. Mm-hmm. Where I was basically like, after the first two rounds, when I saw everybody was like, it's two zero. Verb already won. It's over. Mook trash. I saw mad people saying that, and I was like. Yo, I really, like, I got it 1-1. And I'm asking people, like, yo, like, how you have it? They're like, yeah, 1-1. It's 1-1. I think people just want to, con- they want to convince they Mook cook. that he's mortal. They want to convince Mook, like, yeah. yo, you're human. Like, if if, if 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 we are convinced that Mook is, uh, he admits to being human, if we mm-hmm. are convinced that he's humble, things will change. But... Niggas is putting that much pressure on him just to show they Mook like, yo, relax. Because he's so relax. cocky and confident and he's like, yo, I'm going to smoke everybody. Mm. The people, this was more about people wanting to bring him down to earth. Yeah. And, and Verb delivered the performance that they could rally behind. And and, and, and that's, that's. I agree with that. That's what it is. You okay. know what I mean? Verb was the super underdog. Mm-hmm. So he got that working for him. He was the super underdog. You know what I mean? But I knew. But at the same time, though, I knew like. To me, this wasn't a question of can Verb beat Mook. Mm. It was a question. Will they of, let him beat him? In no, it wasn't even that because I didn't feel that way neither. I, I did. I, I felt like is Verb gonna come one hundred percent prepared for all three rounds and bring the same intensity he had in his heyday? That's what I felt. Because to me, if if Verb showed up and spit this, see, I don't think Verb. Like, New York gives Verb a hard time just because he's Verb. I think they give him a hard time because he's always like, yo, New York niggas always did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and then it gives, like, I can't lie. I used to think Verb would say stuff like that on purpose. Mm. So just in case he lost, he would have he would have an out in the blogs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to feel like that. But after a while, I started realizing that I was like, he really, like, I'm from the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I never really felt like that, but... It's like, I, I guess, being from where he's from, and you don't have a lot of people representing that area, and you mm. feel like it's all against you, I guess you feel like you would have to say something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand that, but my whole thing was like, yo, if Verb just raps regular, and oh, here's another thing too. I knew Verb couldn't really do that bad lyrically, because the question with him is never lyrically is he good. Mm. It's always like, one, is he intense? Two, did he take the time to memorize all his stuff mm. so i was like i mean it's mook you're not gonna take the time to memorize your mm. shit one and two like just say the lyrics but with aggression the mm. same lyrics you had in the beat i battle and all these other joints just saying with aggression but please like i was yo i must have said a prayer for verb like, <laughs> my nigga please don't diss new york and make niggas boo you. oh yeah like, please just like just rap like, nah, he wasn't I, gonna do that. I knew he I wasn't was, gonna do I that. I was like, please don't. Not do this that. go around. Not this go around. It's it's been a minute. He you know he, he don't know what type time New York is really on. You know what I mean? He's he's used yeah. to a certain crowd, but at this moment he don't know. But he's he's ready for it. He was yeah. prepared for the crowd to hate on him. You could tell by his whole attitude, his whole demeanor, his whole. But he kind of do that every time, though. Like every battle. Man, like, nah, like, oh, because we never seen Verb this aggressive. When the last time we seen him this aggressive? When the last time we see him this aggressive? This aggressive? Come on, my Probably nigga. Hitman. Come on, bro. Yeah, Hitman. He was in this nigga's shit the whole time. Don't yeah. touch me, nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He doing all of this while Mook rapping. He put the gun, he put the gun to Mook's head while Mook was rapping. I say, yo, this nigga verb is in a different lie. kind this of bag. Gonna, this is gonna sound goofy, but a part of me, cause you know when like you change your diet and you become vegan, like you ever talk to somebody who like changed their diet drastically like that, mm. and it's like like you feel talk to verb all the time. I I didn't yeah true, but I I didn't like I didn't know if because of that like he would he would not be on that same type of aggression. You know what I'm saying? I'm like he might be, yeah because might I be thought he was dude. more timid since he's been a, a vegan. Like yeah, he it was it was no yeah. aggression. It was no aggression against twerk. You know what I mean? To me, it was no aggression. I think if he would have had that same aggression he had with Lux against Twerk, mm-hmm. it, it would have been kind of wild. Mm-hmm. Even though the, I, I'm yeah. talking about against Twerk, uh, yeah, the, the shit yeah. that he had against Mook, if he brought that against Twerk, it would have even even more people, you know, on the polls got Verb beating Twerk. You know what I'm saying? Like he, what? yeah, because yeah. since he's got Verb beating Twerk, because okay. since he's got Verb beating Twerk. Even, but if you'd have brought this aggression, it would have been crazy. It would have really been, 
You know what I mean? Um, Cause this type of verb, come on, man. He was locked in all the way. He was ready for whatever. He was. It's like when you were nothing was going to throw him off. You're a creative writer, but you also have like legitimate aggression to mm. hang in there with the uh, auto aggressive battlers. Mm. It's it's a it's, it's it's like another element that not everybody has. So I give mm. him that. Cause this was a battle he wanted though. Like and then a battle like with twerk, like mm-hmm. in them type of battles, this is just a battle that got offered to him. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is a battle with Mook. This is a, like okay, he's coming with that smoke. Like you know what I mean. That's why yeah. you've seen a different energy with me versus Hitman than you know any previous battle. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like this is a battle uphill. You know what I'm saying. So Verb, you know he brought that type of shit, man. That nigga, man. I'm proud of that nigga. So let so let's do the the recap watch back. from the watch back. So I took a couple notes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Chime in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be asking for your response on some of this stuff. Let's do it. So, um, yeah, so basically, uh, as you stated before, when Mook started off with the cow, he said he said that, like, he said something about a cowboy. Then he came with the beef steak. Then he said, uh, what, what, what he said, he said steak, and he rhymed that with Beasley, smack, stay in your place. <laughs> that was a, per- to me, that was a perfect follow-up to what he said in the press conference. Yeah. Everybody was already hype off that. Did you feel the same way from the intro? Or did you feel like, oh, shit? I mean, when he said the made a mistake shit, I went crazy. Mm-hmm. When he got the smack, Beasley, stay in your place, I felt like the reaction, they were still reacting off excitement that Murder Mook is back. I don't I don't think that so was you, so a crazy get, bar. So you don't think they reacted because they were like, damn, he said that shit last night? I mean, not really. Okay. I don't. I don't feel that way. But that's a possibility. Okay. So something I wanted to point out is when he said, uh, show him the ropes. This is where Chaz ties in. I hate the way that was delivered. It was fire written. I hate the way it was delivered. But that's a murder mook delivery, though. This where Chaz ties in. Like, <laughs> I hate the way he said it, but it was fire. It was fire enough the way I can't hate on it. So for those that don't know, Chaz ties means to punish. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So like, I immediately I was like, oh, Chaz, t-. like before it, before he, he said the right on the chalk on the board. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I thought. See, well, I guess I, I'm glad you brought up his delivery because something a lot of people are saying is that Averb's delivery and his um, performance was crispier than Mook's. Uh-huh. And live, I couldn't, I didn't really pick up on that. I want to say performance. I think Mook was in a real, he was in a performance bag. He was in a, he was Mook, man. He was do-rag. One thing I want to say, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the funny thing about this whole do-rag Mook situation. Because mm-hmm. I, as I recall, the only other battle that Mook battled in the do-rag was the Party Artie battle. It's Party Artie and... You have a do rag on in his Joey Jihad? No, you got a hat on. Right? That's some real battle rap Jeopardy shit. Imagine if somebody asked you this like four weeks ago. What what second battle did Murder Mook had a do rag on? Nah, though? but cause cause <laughs> this is I'm telling you, I'm a I'm a battle rap historian, man. So this is shit that throws me off. Do rag mook is a thing. Right? Yeah. Like but the, the last Hoodie time Lux. we seen him battle in mm-hmm. the, but the great hoodie Lux, he battled Miles, right? And he caught a body. He only Let me go back. Lux, yeah. Party Audi is one of the battles that people say Mook lost. You think he lost? I don't I don't I don't think he lost. I like this writing more than Party Audi at the time, but I argue with a lot of people and they say yeah. Mook lost. That battle to, I think Mook might say that might have been his toughest battle type shit. You know what I mean? Like, yo, yeah, he said that when type I, shit. When I did an interview with him, he said he is he hasn't felt like his back was against the wall in a battle since Party Artie. You see what I'm saying? And I was like, I was like, that's crazy because if you think about it, he's right. And now was the do rag Mook, yeah. so that he had his toughest moment <laughs> with the do rag yeah. Mook. So it's crazy how this is a thing. But when he brought it back against Lux, it worked. So it's like okay, do rag so. the old murder. See, yeah, see but, now you know what I was talking about. Hey, see, hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> do rag the old murder. <laughs> nah, but yeah, but I think me personally, that that wasn't one of his best performances okay. against Party Artie. 
Okay. And that's when you had the do rag on. So you got do rag mook okay. now. Like this is a unstoppable phenomenon. When it should be throwing me off. I'm like, hold on. Mm-hmm. It's part of y'all to you. But you know, but um, you know, on a watch back though, mook first round was fire. Um, so I want to I want to go uh, through a couple lines. Real oh, okay, quick. go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. So you had the peekaboo ICU fire. I thought that was fire. Now I can't lie. There was a second. Like people didn't just go crazy right away. It was like one and a half seconds before they responded on that one, and I was it like, was "Delivery, man! Yeah, it was his delivery, man. A lot, a lot of shit was kind of off because of his delivery. The writing, well, we don't you, really you question." Funny, I told Mook before I was like, "Yo, when we did the uh, at the last event when he mm-hmm. came on the stream and we were talking, I was like, yo, you know, we know all the dudes like Hitman and stuff that are less known for lyrical ability." And more known for great performances, right? Mm-hmm. And, and 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 a powerful delivery. And I was like, "Yo, Mook," I was like, "I've realized that you say a lot of dope stuff, and you could sit here and quote stuff that was dope." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "But you deliver it the same way all the dudes with powerful delivery that don't have potent lyrics mm-hmm. deliver it. So you'll say something crazy, like uh, on paper it would be crazy, mm-hmm. but you deliver it like it wasn't crazy. <laughs> like I told I told him that before." And I, and I wasn't saying like that was like like that was my indictment of him. Mm-hmm. I was saying that like maybe you want to uh, like practice different types of ways to 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 like uh, what what do you call it to uh, articulate? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The more lyrical lines. And he was like, "Oh, like you think so?" And I was like, "Yeah, but I don't think he really did that on this battle." You know what I'm saying? Nah. Um, I- the thing is with Mook, Mook is a natural. He one of them dudes I want to call like natural battle rappers. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to break it down. When I say that, and, and I'm one of them because we don't, when we write our bars, we don't practice how we're going to deliver them. We don't get in a mirror. And Some people do though. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a few people. That's what I'm saying. You got to yeah. separate the natural. And Mook is not one of those. Mook is, he's going to get his shit. And it's like, if you spar with Mook, mm-hmm. if, if me and Mook was right here sparring, he would like naturally spar how he would battle. That's how he is. He's yeah, he's over yeah. the top. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when he gets up there, it's just how he feels in that moment. That's when I. That's what I call natural battle rappers. I'm glad uh, you brought that up. Yeah. That's so certain certain niggas, you know, they they really rehearse what they're gonna do. They really. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. They do all of that. You know what I'm saying? To the left, I'm a, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm a natural battle rapper. And and so, cause when I tried to rehearse, like when I battle Verb, I bring that up. It went bad because yeah, because rehearse. that was me trying to. Cause I in my head, I'm like, you know what? They they fucking hate me, so I'm gonna make sure they catch everything in this shit. That like I thought it was my delivery while they wasn't fucking with me. So I was that was me oh, trying to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do that. And then when I realized that, I said, nah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that's what it is. I think Mook, um, yeah, he's a natural battle rapper. He just gets up there. It just sometimes it's going to come off weird, and sometimes it's going to hit. It is what it is. Okay. So then he said, stop, stop. You stop eating meat, and they put you in front of the goat. Fire. But after that, did he break it down and say, goat, go at? Was that right after that? Yeah. And. So I think I go think out. people started getting restless because Math had said that. Yeah, but but you know what's funny when Math Mook said it. Don't they, remember that. Mook, no, Mook wasn't thinking about that. He no, was I'm just, saying. But do you think people in the crowd was like, "We heard Math say that"? I mean, you know what's crazy when Math said it. I don't think he got. It sounded kind of cheesy. I mean, go go at that's cheesy right now. You know what I mean? We just watched. You know, like split down the middle. Yeah, know. like to bring the heat wherever he at. Like, you know what I mean? I heard that. So it was just, it was kind of cheesy. You know what I mean? Just keeping it at 100. It was just kind of cheesy but for you know for like, Mook to say he going to come back and elevate some shit and you come with go, go at like bars. And then he had some shit about, I put the kids to sheep. When was Like that? sleep. It was in the midst of that because he had the whole shit when uh, whispered in the air and she knew that the goat heard her. I can't lie. When he said bad, I left. It laugh? was yes, man. Okay, I heard the sheep shit. He said sheep like he substitute the same way he did whiskey business, like risky business. Mm-hmm. He put sheep instead of sleep to go with the bad and the goat and the goat herder and all of that. Okay, now this 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 is my problem with the way Mook wrote some of his stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And I hope he hears this because I, I I really want him to like internalize what I'm about to say. Like, mm-hmm. 
Mook says a lot of fire shit in his setup. Like, like you know how people look at it like one, two, three, four, and then on the fourth bar, people react. The setups is a whole round long. I would hope it'll be some fire shit. No, no, man. I just mean the first two bars of, okay. a, of a four bar sequence or eight bar sequence, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's crazy, right? Because when when he said, um, "Stop eating me," and they put you in front of the goat, I felt like it should have been okay. Boom. Next topic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Because that was a fire line, but because of the round times, uh-huh. just like we were saying. You got to fill that stuff up. Uh-huh. And maybe this is why Mook will probably benefit from 2 minute 30. This is why Mook needs to battle more because th- these are the things he can learn. These are the things that he don't know right now. You know what I mean? You know a lot because you, where you've been at. But mm-hmm. as active as we are, we learn other things that you're not learning because you're not active. I think, think now. Fair? Do you think it's fair? Like, do you think this is just a battle rapper at- attribute or a blogger attribute to be this picky? Like, like, do you feel like we we being this picky? All right, then you said go at because it's like we're into the battle community and we're doing a podcast. Like, do you feel like the average, not the average hip hop fan that loves battle raps? Do you feel like they're this picky about the lyrics? No, no. I think we just into it more because yeah. so we seen a lot more shit. So we looking to really be impressed, and we got no choice but to pick out things that. That's why we really. Go at 10 fours. That's why things like OBC exist. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that because we see so many battles and we see a lot of the same shit. But yeah. other people that ain't really seeing that much, they going to instantly look at Mook and Verb. All of that shit is classic. A lot of that shit, a lot of people that's watching that shit never seen nobody say anything that Mook or Verb say. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, you know, so, uh, yeah, we being picky because we really in it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's that's what it is. The people that's being picky is the niggas that's really in it. The bloggers, the battle rappers, the immediate fans that's into all of the bloggers yeah. and the battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? So, well, yeah. I well, mean, this is another is. thing I want to point out about Mook's flow is that like, like there was a part a little bit after um, uh, they almost fucked up the battle by fighting. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Is that Mook said something like, and this is not a fourth bar. He mm. said, it was just on the way to him saying something else. He said, "So much damn dam, so much damn damage. The levees break. That is they. That is they." And I was like, "I like that," but it wasn't. It didn't fall on a fourth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like whatever you say on that even number bar is the bar that people break. So if you leading up to something, they don't always react to that. So he's looking at it like, "Yo, my writing was crazy." And I'm like, I like something where where you could have just yeah, said the placements, like, his placement. I meditate. You know what I'm saying? You said that instead, and you like, how come people ain't? I think it's because it's not falling on that the even bar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mook might be one of them niggas that write bar a bar at a time. Like if he writes a certain hot bar, he ain't gonna place it where it need to be. It's like whenever he writes it, he's yeah. gonna put it there. <laughs> whenever know, he thinks you know, of it, he's gonna put crazy? it there. When I was writing, I would write four bar sequences, uh-huh. and if I felt like. The second one was better than I, I would I would remake it until I felt like all of them was even. You know what I'm saying? I only wrote in four bar four bar sequences because it helped me memorize them better. Yeah, that too. <laughs> it's the yeah. easier way to memorize. It, Hell yeah! You know what I mean, but I always knew where to put the the haymakers. Um, I knew where to put them, but sometimes. I be trying to overload it, and sometimes like my third bar would be crazier than my fourth bar. So it happens like that. So verb like like my Bruce Leroy bar against Bill mm-hmm. Collector, that was a haymaker. That was in the setup. That was the third bar. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't yeah supposed. It wasn't the second or none of that. It was the third. You know what I mean? But I but I guess Mook has a has a a rapid pace because that is like, easy to, to to not listen to anything to the full uh, you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. uh i like this too i didn't see anyone quoting this he said i planned your geronimo a long time ago clumsy nigga fell for it thought he got the drop i like that it was good writing it's not it's not like a crazy punchline, but it's just, i think it's very good writing yeah it's good writing. you know what i'm saying just shit like and i think that's what he's saying he did a lot of great writing. Nah, yeah. He did a lot of great writing. Um, whatever he said about Frankenstein, I wrote a note that I didn't like it. It didn't. 
It didn't you know hit. Yeah, he had the the the, the fucking yeah the, the accent. What the lean on my like? What the <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck? Yeah. Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah. that that accent was so horrible. We don't even know what you were saying. You right. really spoke a different. You really spoke Frankenstein language. Okay. So and then you know what was going on. And then the last thing about Mook's first round, I wanted to bring up. This is funny as shit. Is that he said diacritic lying on top of you, right? He's like, you want diacritic? I mean, they lying on top of you. And then he was like, no, because a diacritic something. And niggas was like, oh, that was a fake. Oh, niggas don't know what a diacritic is. Do you know what I don't a know what a diacritic is? is? I'm about to tell you a diacritic right now. It's like, you know, like an accent mark, like over a letter? Mm. That's like a diet. So if you if you write something that's pronounced a certain way, accent, that's what a diacritic is. Mm. So he, he, he used that bar the right way then. Yeah. And it, but but he used it in a way even if you don't know what diacritic is. He did a good job of selling. That's it. what I'm. No, yeah. I mean even if you don't know what it is, he told you what it is. It's the line over to you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He told you what it is. Like certain bars, we don't like me. I get references even if I don't know the reference. I could get the way you put it, yeah. what it means. You know what I mean? And I think he displayed that to where I didn't in my head. I wasn't like, yo, what's a diacritic? It's just he explained it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Niggas probably was like. He made that up. <laughs> so it was a diacritic. But you could tell it was Because he brought it back. He said, you know what diacritic is the over to you. <laughs> so for an accent, so an in, in example, an accent mark is a diacritic for anyone mm. who didn't know. Mm. Good first round by move. Good first. You know what I'm saying? Good first. Good first. I give it a Good I give first. it a I give it like a like an eight out of ten. Maybe like a seven seven five. Seven five. So B plus is like an 85. 8 out of 10, 80, that's like a strong B. 75, I think, is a B minus. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, don't C plus. I think 75 is a C plus. 79 is a B minus. 79 is a... Uh, I went to a high school where they gave you the number instead of the letter. So, so what's an A minus? I give them a B plus. A minus is between like 85 and 89. Uh, B plus, A minus between 85 and 89. I give them a B plus if we're doing, okay. we doing it like that. Okay. I give them a B plus. Yeah, I used to know, boy. I used to get in trouble. I brought home a 79. Like, no, it's actually a B minus, not a C. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, round one of Verb. I loved it to Chala Kill Manga angle. Fire. I loved it. I loved the way he set it up. Fire. I, I mean, that just that just reminded me of something. I think Verb, when he was about to touch a new topic, I think he picked very good topics to rap about. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when he sat down and was like, Yo, I'm gonna do a parallel between T'Challa and Killmonger and Averb and Mook. I thought that was a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that was that was. Even though you know the Black Panther references, it's like it's it's, it's damn near in every battle now. <laughs> even though we can, we knew it was coming when the movie dropped. Everybody yeah. was like, "Get ready!" Yeah. But the way he made it relevant to the situation comparing it to Mook and Verb, it makes niggas not even consider that he just did a Black Panther scheme. Well, it made sense, though, because uh, Killmonger was, like, talking to his people, like, this is y'all king, right? Mm-hmm. And Verb was like, New York, this is y'all king. And right, like, New York is Wakanda. Yeah. It was visual. It was yeah. very visual for me. He you painted a picture, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He, he used it in a way that was so crazy, nobody cares if it's a Black Panther uh, reference. Mm-hmm. Um, when he said had hot iron loaded and never killed nothing, I like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was a super crazy bomb, but I thought it was a good wordplay. Yeah, but he killed all three of them niggas. Yeah. But it's fire, though. Yeah. He killed Young Hot, he killed yeah. Iron, and he killed Yo, loaded. you want to know what's crazy? I didn't even count the Young Hot. I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, you're right, though. Damn. It's a fire ball, but when I heard it, I'm like, hold I guess on. It doesn't but count as much because he did. He killed. Yeah, all he of them. killed all three of them niggas. You, was you thinking about that in real time? Yeah. Like when he said it, you immediately. Like, yeah, he killed all. I said that as soon as he said it. I said that. I was like, loud. I was like, ooh, good bar. Yeah, I said you it was. I, I, <laughs> okay. I, I didn't even really have time to enjoy that ball, but I appreciate it when I seen niggas quoting it. I'm like, yeah, it's a fire ball. But however, as soon as you said it, I'm like, hold on, dog. He <laughs> he beat all three of them niggas. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. So, this was arguably my favorite part of Verb's first round. Mm. When he said, and it, the craziest thing is I caught it, mm. and I was able to tweet this from the Rap Grid Twitter. 
while he said it. I don't know how I caught it. I must have just liked it. And he was like, he was like, this is a big, rich town. And this is target practice for y'all, James St. Patrick, who not active and getting killed for his passion. Fire. At that, at that moment, I was like, oh. Like that. Fire. For people that don't know, technically, that's a multi. Technically. That's, that's a multi. He had a target few. Target practice. He just didn't rhyme it like, target practice, target practice. But he was sitting, hitting a lot of the same syllable sounds. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? Well, like, <clears throat> well, target not, not, not with James St. Patrick. Target practice for James St. Patrick, who not active and getting killed for. Yeah, I guess that's like. Oh yeah, Saint practice Patrick, Patrick active. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you go, if yeah, if you go that route, yeah, 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 yeah that's a multi. So uh, that, that I noticed that off top. You know what I'm saying? Then he came with the twin four fives, Donovan Mitchell. Now uh, explain that to me. Why? Why is it twin four fives? Uh, he said two know. Donovan Mitchells. I wasn't crazy about that ball. People went crazy for that because they get the four or five Donovan Mitchell. It's, it's the momentum verb have up so until that twin, moment. Four five two Donovan Mitchells. Maybe. So I feel like if y'all gonna if that's what he said. Hold on. What did I write? I I don't. It doesn't say two Donovan Mitchells. But all right, I'm not gonna say nothing about that because I don't have the exact quote. Uh-huh. So basically, um, podcast angle. Fire! I I think that won him the round to me. Once I heard that, it proved his point. The point he was getting at. But that's why I think Verb won this battle. Spoiler alert! Um, <laughs> because he was really trying to like you know what I mean. Like he was going at Mook. Like he like yeah. yo because he really took it. Like his whole approach, you could tell in everything he was saying in the faceoffs and all that. Like y'all praise this nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he ain't doing shit for us. He ain't out here with us. He ain't. Like, you go yeah. back to that. Like, James St. Patrick, y'all praising him. He about to get killed for his past shit. What, it, what he mm-hmm. used to do. You know what I mean? That T'Challa, this is your king? Like, this is his whole approach. And that then he get crazy. to like, how y'all praising this nigga? He ain't do nothing for, who you had on your podcast, nigga? Not one of us. Okay. Who so you then- referred in that Dame Dash movie? Not, and then they tied in with to, you not one of us? Who you had on your podcast? Not one of us. That's a fact. That's a fact. You ain't bringing yeah. no battle rappers on it, but you want us to respect you. So I guess for somebody, if somebody were to say Murder Mook won the first round, what I would say to them is Mook did not win that first round, dog. A Verb's direct approach is what got it. Yes, because what you because what you said was right. It, it was the fact that Mook. It, it's not about the the actual bars in the first round. Mm-mm. It's about the approach they both took. And the fact that Aver like because Aver stuck on podcast is not a fire bar, right? But it's a fire thing. It applies. That up, mm-hmm. It applies to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, then you got Condesua, Condesua, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Man. Now he's I, rapping. Now he's in his rapping bag. Now he's in a throw shit at me, nigga. I've been in all Condesua, been in every Condesua, and I learned to love it, nigga. I'm a Condesua. What? I can't lie, I didn't like the Noah's Ark turn into a car club. I didn't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what first. you're talking about. So he, 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 he said I turned Noah's. He said I took Noah's Ark and turned it into a car club. What? <laughs> That's what he said. I can't lie, he said that. I don't, I don't remember that boss. So he said, he said that. Say about that. Then he said uh, you had your own funeral with a man purse. Oh, in the first round, did he say that shit? You yeah. done bought tickets to your own funeral? Did he say that in the first? You the uh, sold think, ticket. Think, you the I first nigga did. to sell tickets at your I think own. He did. I don't know what type of shit Verb was on. Verb about to make me want to turn vegan, man. Well, on, honestly, this is what the line that won the first round to me. Because at this point, like you might have already had a Verb after the um, podcast thing, mm. but I was like, ah, oh, it's close. Mm. And then he said, "Terminate the Terminator, John Connor to him." Mm. <sighs> when he said that, I was like, all right. But then he's but then put he rhymed Put a comma in. to him. Put a comma to him. What? But hit, hit, but here's the thing, right? And his was a big thing. I'm with Hemi. Right? It's time to eat. I'm a go noodles. I'm a college student. Exactly. So let me ask you a question, right? You know Hemi. He's a white dude with a green beard, right? Mm-hmm. Who did you think he thought was going to win going into this? Just from looking at him. Mook. You think so? I know him. I been thought. around. I know him. He been around for a long time. Okay. So. He was like, 
He throw verb. When we got back to the hotel, he was like, "Yo, verb said, said, um, said, uh, said, uh, I'm going noodles like a college student." And he just mm. looked at me like this, and I was like, and that was one of the moments where somebody was like grabbing me and like talking to me. So I didn't hear him say that live. So I was like, he said, "I'm going noodles like a college student." And he's like, "Yeah." So then B dot and Los came in the room, and Hemi was like, "Yeah," he said, "Going noodles like a college student." And B dot was like, he started laughing, and then like Hemi kind of thought like like oh like he thought it was trash too, and he was like that was fire, and then and then Hemi was like what, and I and I'm like and I'm like yo I, it must have been the delivery that nah started. when it's time to eat mm-hmm. I'm gonna go noodles I'm like a college student it's like like a college student is selecting what to eat like you know college students are broke no no I got it so the cra- see but the crazy see thing niggas is trying to simplify it like. I'm gonna go noodles like a college student. Like you try to simplify, like it is a simple. I'm not saying it's super intricate, but it's part of a sequence. And he's still telling a story with it. Yeah, that was a part of a setup. Like he's telling a story with it. When it's time to eat, I'm gonna go noodles like a college student. And that all ties into the to the connoisseur. Put a comma through him. It's his accent that's rhyming with. It's a whole sequence of bars. That was a showtime within itself. I know a lot of people's favorite part of that was. Noodles, but yeah, my the Terminator was, was fire too, like and they reacted to that too. Though they stopped him on that, he had to bring it back because of the Terminator shit. Like that's what I'm saying. That was his own Showtime. He should have put a Showtime, and it should have been that shit. The only thing I didn't like about that, <sighs> the only thing I didn't like, right? Mm. That kind of brought him a little back down to earth to me was mm. when he said, "God got to be good to you first before you hallelujah." I didn't like that either. Because like at right. first, my initial thought was hallelujah. Yeah, like oh, you're hollering at the Lou. Yeah, but then I was just like, nah. I think he just said that. Like I don't think there was nothing to it. I think he like if he crafted a bar that was like crazy at the end of all that, it would have been it, like, it would have been nasty. In the words of Cortez, it would have been nasty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like I, t- but to me, and that's why I was saying in the building, I was like, all right, I think Verbo in the first round, but mm-hmm. it wasn't just like a crazy Kamehameha Hadouken. Mm. Because he said hallelujah on the end, and I remember being like, oh, he could have. But mm. his point was taken. <laughs> After watching it, I believe Verb got the first. Got so the we verb. got Verb. One of, yo, this is, this, I think this is the most intricate breakdown. Yeah, hell yeah. We going in with this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So round two. I we being fair. We ain't showing no bias yeah, nah, on, no, nah. on no tech nine shit. So, <laughs> so round two. Uh. uh Smack called me. I was getting some head. Mm-hmm. I thought fire because opening. Averb ended the first so fire. I'm glad he did that because it like threw him back in the game. Right back. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so we want you to battle Sir, but we ain't got the bread. bread. <laughs> that was funny. He should have got reaction for that. Yeah, they should have went crazy for that. Yeah. They should have went crazy. I went crazy for, for it. I went crazy. So for his it. people's wasn't even going crazy for it. I went it crazy like, for yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Like that that was that should have been a shutdown. Uh-huh. Type moment, all that. You know all saying? that. ARP um, should have ran in front of the stage like this. Yeah. Nah. He <laughs> <laughs> should have did that. Mm, wow. And gave a few shout outs real quick. So this is and I, I can't believe I wrote all this down. But basically, um, let's get into the alcohol bars, because that was shortly after, mm-hmm. right? So he says got me fucked up. Then want to question my drive and test my lines. Like if I point nine, I ain't blow it. That's a breath of lies. Incredible writing. Somebody tried to tell me that breath of lies That's, was whack. I'm not hearing it. No, nah, I'm not hearing I'm that not either. Hearing that it. whole that, that whole shit you just said. That whole somebody tried to test my drive. What? Like I'm gonna say it one more time. Got to. Got me fucked up. Then wanna, got me fucked up. Then want to question my. Then want to question my drive and test my lines and test my lines. Like if I point nine. I ain't blow it. That's a that's a, I like it. I like the way he wrote it. That's perfect. That. That's perfectly written. That's that's a perfect Well here's the thing. It's perfect. For someone perfect. That wants, to, that wants to talk about breath of lies, you know this as well as I do. Uh-huh. When you write a rhyme and you said and you say, uh, question my drive, test uh-huh. my lines, breath uh-huh. of lies. Uh-huh. If it goes that good, you I feel like you gotta make an exception. Yeah. But what else was he gonna say at the end? I mean, saying? I don't. I don't care if that's not a word. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's fire. It 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 made sense. I don't care. It's creative, like it's creative. No right, right. Rapping word. ain't supposed to be technical. Just like slang isn't technical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's not supposed to be technical. 
You you come up with your own language. You only you supposed to do with the f- old red is out here talking about high five to pack up blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's acceptable. <laughs> Yo, so yeah. breathalyzer is just a way that this nigga. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. That was fire. That was perfect. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. All right, so now we got whisk whiskey business, right? And yeah, pack that one up. I, that uh, was that was that was that was unacceptable. What did he say before whiskey business about four the four or five? Uh, he said something about forty four proof. Five. He said something to kill it. I like the way he flipped to kill it. Um, it. It wasn't like we've heard it before. Okay, so here's here's my thing about this. Right, and we heard to kill it flipped plenty of times. Pe- people were saying, "Yo, this." I remember this in the building. This alcohol scream is crazy, right? Mm. As soon as he said whiskey business. Niggas started laughing and said boo. Yeah. Right? Now, let me ask you this. If you if you spit, because that was mad lines in that alcohol shit. He was going on for a long time. I think that's the problem. He stretched it out too long, and then you let us get bored of it, and then you come with whiskey business. It's like, So you oh. think if he stopped that breath of lies and just went on to the next topic? He could have went on a little longer. Because here, cause here, cause here was my thing, right? I thought, I remember thinking live, that it was kind of unfair that it's like, you just had mad hot lines and you said whiskey business. I know that I wasn't a fan of whiskey business. Mm. And I understand, like, even if he said it in jest, it's not the time to say that kind of line. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I saw a lot of people discounting everything in the alcohol scheme before that just because he said that. They was like, oh, that scheme was trash because you said that. I don't think nah, that's, that's right. Whack. That's whack. I don't I think know. that's right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. But that took flair off of it, though. You know I, I, I wouldn't even say that. I don't. I wouldn't even say that. I mean, I see why you're saying it because people are trying to, you know, take some off of it. But I just think it was just a whack part of it. It was just a whack bar because I was I was impressed too many times before he got to that. See, but, but you know that's kind of like hippopotamus to me because, like, I didn't feel like Mook was like, "Yo, this hippopotamus shit is gonna make niggas go." Crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard that bar, I thought it was fire. <laughs> I said, "Hold on." <laughs> I thought it was creative. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's a daylight joint. But when I when yeah, when I after a while I started looking at it, I'm like, yo, that bar is super trash. That shit is more hypocritical. No, nah, but you know my initial reaction, hippopotamus. My initial reaction was to laugh at it. Because that's some shit that like if we sitting around coming up with dumb lines, we uh, would say that. Right, that, right. Like that's the how That's I feel definitely about a daylight business. bar. So like, I like I don't think he like he thought whiskey business was the most fire bar. I think that he was like, I'm just gonna be like Throw it in there like it's a whiskey business just to get another one. Uh, I don't think that was a good idea because it took away. Yeah, but you saying something. it didn't take away that much? I don't think it took away from the scheme. I don't think that takes away from the breath of lies and um. Yo, to, I, know, honestly, to this point, if I'm if I'm gonna be honest, the breath of lies and the uh, uh, James St. Patrick was like, I was like, yo, them joints is like even to me. Them shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so after that, <clears throat> uh, oh, Mook said the stern and them, the stern and them, the stern and them, hey, the, stern and them the stern and them. Yo, I honestly said, yo, if Mook did this for a minute, like a minute straight of rapping like that, mm. and niggas kept stopping him going crazy, that might have been an overpowering moment. I, I disagree. So you think he he only did it for like eight to ten bars. That was perfect. You think so? I think if you would did it for too long, because technically he wasn't really saying nothing. Verb, nigga, I heard, nigga, bird, nigga, that bird, nigga. Though, the yeah. bl- nah, the flow yeah. is hard. But what I'm saying is, if it went on for too long, mm-hmm. after a while, people is forced to listen to what you're saying, oh, and yeah, then it's yeah, like yeah. you ain't really saying it's nothing. Verb, nigga, I heard. Nigga, it was fire. Verb, it was it was a it was a nigga. fire move. Yeah. But I'm saying it's perfect yeah. how long he did it for. Yo, this is this uh, stuck in the sternum. They stern in them, like yeah, yeah, I got you. You know what I mean, like but bird, guess, verb, nigga, bird, nigga, herb, nigga, word, nigga. Like this is what he's rhyming. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the way he put yeah. it together was fire. I'm not. I I don't take points. Or I give him points for that. So. Yeah. Oh, I guess the the part that I, like this conversation is making me think that battle rap um, verses in general are too long. I've been feeling like this. I, I feel like it should be two minutes, mm-hmm. unless it's a special occasion. Right. Then let them go three. Right. But I don't feel like there's ever an occasion for an unlimited round for this necessary. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to hear an unlimited round. But I, I tell you this though, being that Mook had that unlimited round and he went twenty two minutes, it gives another conversation for this battle. 
okay. it, it adds to you know the classic word being thrown for it. It adds because it's something else to talk about. All right, so we're gonna get to that in a second. Let me try to run through the second round. So, um, uh, alcohol. Uh, did you like the twerk shake his ass up? You know? No, his name is Twerk. You supposed to, you were supposed to shake his ass up. Trash. I didn't think it was a pause, no homo. Cause I heard Kofi. Nah, pause, but you didn't like it. I ain't like it. It made sense. It's cheesy. Twerk, shake his ass up. Come okay. on, man. Um, when you disappear, you disintegrate. Fire. You know what's crazy about that? I didn't get it. I I could tell it was something else to it, but I was like, uh. the people were going so crazy. I was like, what? And ill will was like disintegrate, nigga. And I was like, oh. That's fire. But I heard. um. You heard that before? Yeah. Rum Nitty said it to Arsenal. What'd he say? Some about um some same type of shit. Disappeared, disintegrate. Just, he said, he might have said, I heard somebody say, I put this, some disintegrate, some shit like that. Put disintegrate. <laughs> he, he probably put it like that. He probably said put disintegrate. But he battled Arsenal for sure. Because I remember when I first heard that ball, and I probably only watched that battle about twice ever in my life. Mm -hmm. But when I heard that, when he said it to Arsenal, I was like, yo, this is, what the fuck? That's really when I thought Rum Nitty was that nigga, like, when, when I seen that and he said that. So when I heard Mook say that, it automatically uh, brought me back. But I don't think nobody else, Mook don't know that, probably. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying he took that. that. Yeah, so That's what I'm I saying, so I'm battle. not. Yeah, but, but I was just as equally as impressed when Mook did it. You know what I mean? Like, because I know he didn't get it from Rum Nitty. But I was just like, oh, shit. He like, delivered that one good. Yeah. He delivered that one good. So great. then you got, um, uh, yo, I didn't, I didn't get this line. He said, you ain't a Marvel captain. We trying to. Marvel captain. Yeah, I get that. But he said something. He said something after that. It was, you said like another meaning on that. I didn't get it. You remember? I got the Marvel captain, but I don't. I don't know what the second part of the bar was. Mm -mm. Um, he said, "Lowercase I am the top of the line." Period. I liked it more. Oh, it's creative. I liked it more like the it. second time I heard it. First the second time. time. I'm talking about like first watch, second watch. Oh yeah, second. Watch. I like that. Uh. See, but but I think and here, here's the problem, right? Verb just went at, and I did not think of this till we started doing this podcast, right? Verb just went directly at your neck, and you got lowercase eye bars. Uh -huh. And I think that's what it is. Uh -huh. I think that's exactly what it is. That's why he lost. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say that yet. I didn't say that. I said I said yet. Like that's. I literally, I literally, no, I literally no, haven't. Good. I'm gonna tell you who I think won at the no, end. You good. know what I'm saying? But that's. Verb went right at you. We're not. We're not on your podcast. Is more powerful than. Mm. Top of the line, period. It's a dope line, but it doesn't mean nothing in the context mm -hmm. of the battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, smell a body, cologne, that. I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of that. The Prozac, though. Uh -huh. um, player, I'm the coach. I helped the press if any one of my Prozac. Fire. But what? Oh, when he said, I'm feeling myself like I don't know where my phone at, that's where people were like, hit hey, man. Man. But I can't lie, I jumped through the roof when Mook said <laughs> I, can't, I'll jump. I was like, yo. I think everybody else was jumping mm. through the roof too. Nah, yeah, Hitman. Um, that was definitely a Hitman. And uh, w one thing, I got to give Mook, right? So uh, he said, he said, it's like some cereal because the Apple Jack. I was like, what, nigga? That's trash. Like yeah. I was upset. Nah, even right? cereal tell you he ain't a nigga that people in the Apple Jack. And it was Jazz saved it. Because Jazz was like, Oh, Siri. And when she said, I was like, Oh. Because I was very upset. Nigga, I was upset. When I thought <laughs> it just meant cereal apple jack. I was tight. I was like, my nigga, really? But I give him credit. But you get the Apple Jacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cereal tell you like, Yeah, I got it. Because in New York is uh when you say we ain't jacking something, that mean we ain't fucking yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that was a fireball. Yo, I was upset until I got the other meaning. Because that <laughs> went over my head for about two seconds, yo. I was tight. I was like, I nigga, you really just had Apple Jacks, my nigga? But yeah, so when that joint ran, uh, ended, the thing, the thing that stuck out to me 
mm-hmm. was the uh stern and them stern and the verb nigga i heard nigga like i was like i was like yo like that's that vintage move that like uh-huh. i just kept thinking about that right mm-hmm. so round two on verb um uh, if it's a problem, only a coward believes any and every element is an option. Mm. That's that's a line he said. My bad. I'm still going through. M- I got mad typos in that. I'm, <laughs> I apologize. Uh-huh. But basically, the whole point is that the first couple of um, lines that Verb said, they wasn't really reacting to it. It was like he was just rapping. Mm. Like he ain't really getting no big reactions or he ain't jumping to no crazy shit. Right. Mm. So and then he came with the he's a, he's emotional. Mm. And that's when everybody started reacting, and Verb got the crowd back on his side. Look at him; he's emotional. Because Mook was he was he was doing too much while Verb was rapping. But at the same time, though, like he wasn't trying to fight Verb, and Verb was like, "Yo, I'm with whatever." In the first round, I get that, you know but regardless, that's battle rap one on one. If anybody is acting the way Mook is acting in the battle, mm-hmm. we looking at it like, "Oh, he's losing." I, yeah, I can't lie, that he's losing the way Mook. The way Mook was like talking, it was like, oh, that's what I'm hot. saying. He didn't even have to do that. It that made, was it made, it, yeah. you. You gave off a, a loser vibe. Yeah, you did. You I, know what I, mean? I will say that. Yeah, the way he was reacting wasn't it was battle rap one on one. It wasn't. It didn't look good when I watched it back. I was like, I was because like, it looked chill. like because you know what that was. Mm-hmm. Mook ain't never been under that kind of pressure before. Never. He never felt like he was losing in the battle. So you think that's another thing that like if you do a hundred battles, you know not to do that. Of Basically, course. Yeah. Because you, you felt that already. Verb knew what was up. Verb ain't about to... He just like, I'm with, well, I'm with all that. Verb ain't... How many times was Verb the underdog or the least favorite in the battle? He used to it. Yeah. Mook ain't. Mook ain't never been under that pressure. And that's another reason why, you know, everybody's riding with Verb. Because he put Mook under a pressure Mook ain't been under. Yeah. Well, I'll say this too. Is that right after he said, look at you emotional, he had the Infinity Stones line. That was right after that. You didn't like that? I mean, Avenger bars, Black Panther bars, Power bars. Well, I think I think that joint, I understand what you're saying, but I think it, it signaled like he was heating up at this point. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for Look sure. It was fire. I'm just talking about stones. like me personal. Like it was a lot of. um. You don't think there was a lot of depth in that line? Like he could have went another direction. Yeah. I got you. He could have did without it. It wasn't whack, though. So, um, now I'm going to stick by this, right? Mm-hmm. And I've argued with somebody about this already. But when Verb says, so it's showtime, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, if it's showtime is like better than anything else he says so far. It's over. Yeah, I really felt like that. <laughs> yeah, it's over. But yo, I felt like his showtime was like, the worst part of his whole battle. It was like. His showtime was the worst part. I told of the, you that whole of, of kind of sewer whole shit, the college student That's, shit. That was a showtime. The, the kind of the John yeah. Connor to you. He should have. That should have been the showtime. Yeah, this shows, and that's this is honestly what turned me off to his second round. As far as saying that he could definitively win the second round, mm-hmm. is that he already started a little bit light, in my opinion, uh-huh. and then he when he got to the showtime, I was like, ah, oh, this is mm-hmm. this is the worst stuff he spit so far, mm-hmm. and then when he said the prego. I, 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 uh, I didn't like that too Fork in the noodle and, and lick the prego And all that I didn't like that uh, But I was arguing with somebody this morning Who thought it was fire So It was the delivery of it He painted a picture like when, It was like a gruesome It was more gruesome And that's verb You know what I mean So if you're a verb fan Yeah You like that And I'm not mad at that You know what I mean mm-hmm. Like But me personally Like lick the prego like, Yeah that's that's not like a Oh that bar is mad whack It's more of like a it's an acquired taste. You either like it or you don't. Like don't. On the fork, like yeah, that's it's not a bar a, like. That's, a that's nah. It's not. A, it's not a bar like that's like a, a a metaphor or anything like that. It's yeah. like you either like it or you don't. It's, yeah. it's, 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 no, I'm saying like the actual prego on the fork is an acquired taste. Like right. you stab people in the. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Your blood, I'm you know? talking bars, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, now this is the part where I said. Okay, if somebody's gonna make an argument if verb one in that last quarter of the first of the second round, it when Averb came with the limousine w- with the wings and all that, and he said the, the unicorn. I thought the unicorn part was cool, but he jumped into the uh, Wiggins and Doc Rivers. 
Well, my, my bad. First, first off, he jumped into the John Witherspoon. Nobody remembers you young like John Witherspoon, right? Big reaction. You ain't like it? I'm kind of seeing your face. You like. I mean, it's not that I didn't like it. It's cool. Okay, I mean, I don't think it's like some of the crazy because, shit I heard. Because you don't think he pointed out something that he did when he was young that no one actually remembered him for? Is that what you're saying? I mean, like, that could have helped. I ain't saying that's why, but I think that that would have helped. It, but like if he brought up the do rag and was like, "Yo, you only wore it once, and no one knows what you did beside the do rag." When you, I mean, like, I mean, it's a dope bar regardless. Nobody remembers yeah. you, young John Witherspoon. You know what I mean? I think it's fire. I think you know, um, Morgan Freeman would have yeah. would have would have fit better. You know, but uh, do you think more more people would have reacted immediately to a picture of? Pop saying bang 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 on Morgan <laughs> Look at Mad Serious. <laughs> nah, that's a dope ball. I yeah, like yeah. it. I like I like it. I like it. I can't I can't yeah, I like it. I do. So this is the thing that I like in writing. When people like are able to do this, and this is I feel like Mook he 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 I'm just gonna tell you what it is and you understand what I'm saying, right? So Verb says the Wiggins line, right? And when he said it, I was like that was cool. Like I like I respect it, but it wasn't like crazy because people was reacting crazy. Then when he said, um, when he flipped it and then said the Doc Rivers line, that's when he got me, because I was already like, yeah, all right, that's cool. Yeah, now right. I gotta get rid of you, son. Like Doc Rivers, I went bananas. But and this is I think this is the difference in the writing is that, like if Mook said that, he would have said the Doc Rivers part first. Then he would have said a Clippers after. scheme and then said had a Wiggins joint. And uh-huh. Verb just kind of got in it and got out. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to make a comparison in the writing, that's a perfect line to me to do it right there. Mm-hmm. But as far as um, John Witherspoon, Doc Rivers right after it, the reason why I said that I didn't think A-Verb won the second round is because he ended it with the, my dick get hard, I extend rifles. Right? I just felt like he didn't have to say it. Verb just wanted when he was writing for the battle, he just wanted to end the round. <laughs> he just yeah, that's what it sounded like to me. He just wanted to end the round. He was like, all right, I'm done. But yo, if he ended on Dark Rivers, or he kind of added like another little line to uh-huh. it, you know what I'm saying? That top that one. At, if uh, Verb ended all his rounds and haymakers, we would be having a different conversation. Yeah, right but, now, but I think to me, like even looking back at it right now. When I'm looking at like the fact that A Verb started the second kind of slow, and then oh my bad, I I skipped the um after he said the prego he rhymed it with Lego my ego. <laughs> like I, I I like in the morning I got rounds popping out of toasters Lego my ego. Only round coming out of these toasters. Yeah. My ego. I fuck yeah, but I fuck with that. from the Lego my ego, then he got into John Witherspoon, then Doc Rivers. Mm. He was on fire for like uh-huh. 48 seconds. Uh-huh. And then he said, my dick get hard. I extend my <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't, like, e- even looking at it again, because I thought I might have changed my mind <laughs> based on the conversation. But I got to give the second a move. How do you feel? I think the second is debatable, actually. I think the second could go either way. Um so look, right? So when you were talking about Tech Nine, you're like, yo, Tech Nine, right? Mm. I think Tech Nine that like like he he just saw so many people saying Mook lost that he probably felt like he had to defend the line of thinking that would say Mook won, right? If if we're gonna be analytical, like we just broke down Mook and Verb's round. Mm. The fact that Verb got off to a slow start, I wasn't really feeling the pray goal with the thing, you know what I'm saying? And then I admitted that he had four, about 48 seconds where he was getting crazy. Then he said, my dick get hard, I extend rifle. I'm not even saying that to be funny. I'm just saying, like, that was no way to end that round. Uh-huh. Especially when the first thing in my mind was verb, nigga, I heard, nigga. Like, that's, that, that was, like, everything I was so thinking. So, yeah, that's what stood out. So, I, 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 would have, I would have to give Mook the second round. Yeah, um, I, got, I got, like I said, I think the second round is debatable. The one thing... I take away from Mook mm-hmm. is how he was acting while Verb was rapping. That bothered me a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, even I, I get, it didn't bother me. Even even with him, you know, with touching Verb, like doing a lot. Like I, I 
it just it just gave off that he was losing. So when I say I edge Verb in the second, it's not because I feel like Verb material was better. I just felt like his composure, his approach, and every you know what I mean. Those is the reasons why I'm edging Verb. But I would still say the second round is very debatable. I, I like like I said. Mook had a crazy round. He had the herb, nigga, the bird, nigga. He had that. He had the the breathalyzed shit, the liquor scheme. Yeah. He had the opening smack call me. I was getting some head. Like, he had, yeah, you when, know what when, I mean? When, when, I understand that, the, that Mook acting like that took away from it because it was kind of a little cringe when I watched yes, it. Yes, it was. But, like, when I, when I stack everything up and I'm and because I'm we looking at it like we looking at it on a computer right now like when uh, I look at the bulletins of everything he did and everything Verb did I look at Verb's power part of that forty eight second period uh, from the Let Go My Ego to John Witherspoon and all that and I feel like Moop had like five different parts mm. there was a little spread out but he had something in the beginning. He had something in the end, and he had a couple joints in the middle. I get that. You know what I'm saying? It was just that the whiskey it was like stuck out in people's minds. Yeah, but that I was think a, I think whiskey. That was my, a whiskey my, angle. <laughs> 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 yo, <laughs> but yo, <laughs> but yeah, uh, bro, yo, that was crazy. But I feel like I feel like my dick get hard, and I <laughs> in whiskey business cancel each other out in my mind. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. <laughs> so, uh, so round three on move, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm like, I'm looking at niggas like, yo, you got it 1 1? And niggas were like, yeah, I think it's 1 1. Automatically knew so, Mook was going to go longer than Verb. We all knew that. Yeah, yeah. It was, so, Mook, uh, I don't know what that says, but um, <laughs> Verb can't come into play. I don't even know. Did he say that? I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry, y'all. But, um. <laughs> yo, this is crazy. Are you reading this? Are you reading this? Are you reading this? <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm leaving no, this in no, the podcast. No, it, but I see how you, you freeze it. <laughs> you, nah, I'm not freezing. You're trying, I'm, I'm you like, trying yo, to catch fuck? up to yo, see look, what the fuck yo, you look, wrote. Look what, it's, look what it says. This nigga's ugly handsome. <laughs> I was trying to make like cliff notes. Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Next is something that real. <laughs> did, yeah, I feel like did Mook say you in a position next to something that's real? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. That nigga round was so long. You don't know what the fuck yeah, that. His round was so long, I had put mad notes that just fucked me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But all right, but the first thing I wrote here was that. When Mook said caught the kid napping, that's why he ran some. And I think he was talking about him running from the dudes in St. Louis. Mm. I like that line. That was the first line where I was like, okay. You like that joint? Caught yeah, the kid I like napping, that. that's why he ran some. I like that. I um, uh, he said, quick fix, pit stop. 12 on top of me, no TikTok. Trash. Uh, that wasn't trash, but the fact that he said no TikTok or, or, or reference to a clock well, or a watch. I, I, that's so cheesy. Well, it's so cheesy. Well, well, I think. Well, I think. You know what? That's why I wrote this. When that, when he said that, he was. It wasn't like verb nigga. I heard nigga, but he had a little flow to it. And to me, that was like when he did that. It when when you rap like that, it becomes not about the lyrics, and it becomes about the flow. And then people change the conversation to, "Yo, you did something the other dude ain't really doing. Is that an edge?" Cause verb nigga, I heard nigga. He's a herd nigga. You your bird nigga. Yeah, but he was, was trying it. to. But the difference is with the TikTok. So he was trying to He's make trying that to a bar, yeah. because it was almost a bar. Twelve on top, six under. I like, I like that part. I like quick fix, pit stop. That's fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let me, let me ask you this: What if he said the twelve on top of me, no TikTok? Something they're looking for a quick fix. That's a pit stop. Would you have looked at it differently if he said it backwards? For sure. And that's what it. That's the whole point we talking about. For sure. And I think that's what it was with that. That's but that's that's exactly why I I feel like he he thought that was a bar. He yeah. thought that was a bar. Twelve like that was thought out. Twelve over me, six under me. That's. But that's a crazy way to think though. Is that you come up with a fire setup line and mm -hmm. you're like, and then you come up with a punch that's less fire and you, like that's that's crazy. Sometimes you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't know which one is more fire. Uh, you remember when he did the Millennial Digital Old School Original? You remember that? 
I yeah. think that's I think that's part of the flow I was talking about. Yeah, but old school original. Like, did he do that? That I hated yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, is that like, come on, you doing that with the Frankenstein shit and all that? Like, yeah. you doing a little, you doing a little much there, Mookie. But it was all right. So, so let, let's talk about this, right? Um, when he when he remixed the Jordan joint, I said the AI joint, right? Mm-hmm. This was now. I th- I think the conversation at the time was everybody was even though I thought it was one one. I could see a lot of people at this point. They 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 were restless. Like they thought Verb won the first two rounds. Like I could feel that. And I think I had looked online briefly, and I saw a lot of people saying that it had a lot to do with how Mook was reacting. Though yeah, it had it had a lot to do with that because okay. it felt like you know Verb is getting to this nigga. Well, let me ask you this, right? When he said the Teron Lou part, uh-huh. and, and it was like he both stepped over to Lou to win that game, right? Mm. Do you think if he said that at a point where he had the momentum, it would people would have been like losing it? For sure, because um, that bar is actually kind of crazy. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, shit, nigga. I, I just felt got I, these long ass rounds, my nigga, and it's like, dog, like you ain't really doing nothing that much different than you than you've been doing for the past two rounds. And your first two rounds was this nine is, minutes. This is what I was getting at. Now, originally, when I said that Mook's round was really long, and he probably should have cut it a little bit shorter, the reason why I put that note in there is because I felt like he should have ended it on the Iverson joint. How long? Was like, imagine if it, if it's on, huh? How long was his round? How long was his round probably up until that point? Minutes. Twelve minutes. About half of the round. He said about halfway through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So then, um. The party already guarding an angel flip. Did you like that? I don't really remember it. Uh, he basically said, uh, he was talking about how Verb said, so you talking about your guardian angels duck. Well, my uh-huh. guardian angels party already. And then he like kind of channeled them. He's like, uh, he was like, you dancing and your lingo. And he like flipped that whole part. I like, I like the idea of it. But you didn't like the actual line? I'm not going to say I didn't like it. It's just. So it. it well, I'm gonna get to the rest of the lines, right? So, to me, this was the craziest part of Mook's third round, and I felt like if the round was shorter, he could have shown more light on it. And I'm not saying the round being long was an indictment to him, because I do agree with the line of thought that like he went crazy and he went for a long time. It was perfect, like he hit every line perfectly how he probably wanted to. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and he was trying to. It seemed like he was trying to put on a showcase. You know what I'm saying? The one thing you can't say about Mook is he don't give you your money's worth. You know what I'm saying? But when he said the whole thing about Holla was ill, and then it was ill and Holla. Then it was Remy D for ill and Holla. You know, you know, remember that whole part? That was creative. I, I can't say the whole part back, but he said it in a first uh, time the first time I heard it, I didn't like it. I'm like, come on. It made sense. But it when when I heard sense. when I watched it again, yeah. it's, it's super creative. Like he he needs extra points for what he did with that. Yo, he he said he said uh Cause uh, ill needed a remedy, so I told him to holler at verb. But a verb was like ill, so he couldn't even holler at the remedy. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but then when he said, and, and then he, he he said they had an ill remedy for that, so holler and verb replaced them. Then like, he said they had an ill remedy for that, holler and verb replaced them. I was like, yo, that was ill. That was one of the best parts of the battle to me. Yeah, that was that was. You know what I'm saying? That, yo, that, that was, was fire. Like, that was fire. You know what I'm saying? And um. That's next level shit. So, th- then you kind of then you got the vegan part that he went into. How did you feel about the the like tomato was seedless and it's illegal to to crop grow and all that stuff? Like doing too much. You you know what's funny It's like I thought if you're gonna go at it vegan, that's a great thing to say. But was an angle of attacking vegans. <laughs> like lost a lost point in the first place but it's such i mean his name is vegan verb you know what i'm saying like like i like it, that's it, his instagram name that's just the name that nigga just started calling him that's just he just trolling back the nigga name is a verb man well <laughs> but he, here's my whole thing about and i guess this he is, could stop being a vegan tomorrow and still be a verb the whole balance of the battle kind of lies on this to me right mm-hmm. um did you like the part about the vegan? His mother gave up meat. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
So then, and I guess this goes back to what you were saying about him stretching it out. Because he was like, all right, if he ended it on the your mother gave up meat, <laughs> and then it goes into the crop growing thing. Mm-hmm. It's all true, and it's all points that make sense. Mm-hmm. And it's all real shit. You're doing too much. So if you want to argue, yo, all that shit is true. Like, like for somebody. If, if he could have fit, he could have fit all the points he made in that 24 minute round. He could have fit that whole shit in a 12, 12 minutes. So you think, so when you, so when you heard this, you were like, you should have fit it in. You should have condensed it. Yeah. All his 16 bar setups, cut them down to eight. <laughs> That'll Do take 24. Do you think it was impressive that his round was that long? Um, yeah, why not? I mean, because the fact <clears throat> you getting up there and you got to memorize all that material. The same credit that we give any battle rapper for being able to get up there and perform. When you got the industry artists, they performing the same songs all over and over. The fact that he got up there and got through all of them rounds flawlessly, them long rounds, hell yeah, that's impressive. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't think people should lean on that as part of their argument. No, hell no. Lines. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Not, you don't win a round just because your, your shit is longer. Your shit got to be longer and hotter. And I ain't going to front. Oh, I know we didn't get in the verb round yet, mm-hmm. but- the way Verb ended his third round made up for the space he didn't rap. Yeah, okay. it, it almost. So we're gonna get into yeah, that. you know what I mean. So from looking at from now reading my notes and looking back at Mook's third round, um, I loved the the AI remix for the original Jordan thing that he spit against Young Hot. Uh, the party already thing was cool. I think I think instead of dancing the lingo, he should have used when I was in Rikers, you was in diapers, and flipped that. Yeah, that would have been. You know what I'm saying? Because he could he could have flipped it in a way that was like like when I was first battling, like you was in diapers. That's you know a what fact. I'm saying? That's he could have flipped it like that. I don't know. I can't think of what he could have said at this moment in time, but I I think that was a more like puff dance to jingles. <laughs> that was you know what it was? Huh? That was Murder Mook's favorite bar that party Audi said. That was personal. Yeah. That's what that was. So um so then uh and then the, the the remedy holla ill. I think you Fire. know when we're done with this, I might I might think that was the best part of the third round. We'll you see. Know what I'm saying. Um, and then yeah, so I think we can both agree that it would have been consolidated. And I saw a lot of people giving Mook the third round. You know what I'm saying? I saw that. That too. seems to be the consensus. Like if you're gonna if if I'm gonna give Mook a round, I'm gonna give him the third, right? But I feel strongly about the second round. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you think his second was better than his third? Mooks. Mm. Yeah, line for line. <clears throat> I mean, well, you can't really match it line for line because it was two million over his <laughs> third. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the lines that stood out, if I'm gonna write uh-huh. down the eight best lines, I'll take the second. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so verbs third round, right? He kind of came out the gate stumbling a little bit. He did. Yeah, he's he stumbled over a couple words. It wasn't like a big ooh, but he's he's. I noticed that because you know Verb has a very technical writing style. You know what I'm saying? So he stumbled through a couple little but words. That I noticed. You know what I'm saying? Lily, what are you doing? She eating something. Yeah, she eating a hairball. <laughs> so, uh, uh, all right, so. Uh, he, he, what, I don't what, remember what, him stumbling in the third. I don't. Um. Uh, he, he, it was it was a little bit. I'll show you back. It was a little bit, right? Mm. Not nothing to write home about, but since I feel like the battle was close, something I'll bring up. Yeah, right. For sure. Now, when Verb said 10 years of killing, it's only right they gave me murder. Fire. Crazy. That was fire. That's when, that's when I was like, oh, shit. No. This reminded me of his John Witherspoon shit in the last round. Like he was heating up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. And this kind of goes back to Verb's theme in the first round. Like, I kind of felt what he was saying on this when Verb said, Smack did all that fucked up shit to you and you turn around and let him do it to us. Mm. As far as like like not helping, you not helping your fellow battle rappers out. You remember that part? No, but. Yeah, he, he Verb said, Smack did all that fucked up shit to you, and you turn around and let him do it to us. Yo, that fit back in with the thing. Verbi talking, and that's why he my my nigga Vol's favorite battle rapper too, because he loves the way he be talking to niggas. Like he yeah. really be like nigga, like he really like 
<laughs> Verb is like the battle rap counselor when you battle him. He's like counseling you. Like, you I, know what I, I'm saying? I just feel like Verb has such a meticulous writing style that I wish that he always delivered it crisp. Because because when like for you gotta be motivated, like, man. When, you gotta you, motivate that man. Here's the thing though, when you don't say simple shit, you know what I'm saying, and, and you kinda stumble through it or mess it up, it takes away from it so much. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because people listen so intently and you kind of break their concentration. But anyway, back to that. When he said you you let Smack do all the shit to you and you turn around and let him do it to us. Like, I can understand, like, from Mook's perspective, he might be like, No, I didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you really feel that way, like, if Verb really feels that way. He do. Everything fact, Everything or, Verb of, said to Mook, he feels yeah. that way. So. It's T-top. Funny nigga. We almost done with it here. Yeah. So then, um, he, he said, a breaking me down was in your MO. Okay. Uh-huh. Fire. Uh, the crazy thing, I had a bar like that. Of course, I had to take it out once I heard that. I broke no, down M O K, yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, that's so over now. Mine's nigga like, so you yeah. must have thought that bar. If you said that bar was trash, that bar well, was trash. I, I, know, I ain't saying that. Uh, <laughs> nah, I took it. I, I just like I got it written in my notes, but I yeah. know I'm not gonna use it now. You know. Okay. What I mean? And then the last part is where I'm from. We about what we say. We about we don't talk this long. I'm gone. That's what I'm saying. That that part made up for the lack of minutes of material that he had compared to now, if, if, if we so, oh you have Averb winning the first two rounds um yeah but not 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 so clearly um so you thought it was still close going like Mook could still steal the whole battle if the third was slanted I mean because I don't I don't think Mook won the third clear I don't think he won the third clear I, I think I think that's another debatable so, one so after what we just said you, you're saying that you think Mook probably edged the third no, I can't say that. Um, I mean, we got to take points off being that it's so close for Verb stumbling. Mm-hmm. You bring that up. Um, so with that being said, probably, because when we got to be technical and we got to pick a winner, we got to have reasons. And, yeah. You know what I mean? So I probably would edge Mook in a third because of the stumble. And, and, and that only. You know what I'm saying? I don't think... Mook just wowed me more than Verb did. I like I said, Verb's whole approach and Mook's attitude swayed me a little bit. You know what I mean? Like throughout the whole battle, though, not just the second round. Like this I said, was crazy. After reading notes about the third, is it's making me feel like Verb edged the third. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying because I mean, a stumble. I mean, but here's but here's the thing though. That this is what's fucking me up. Like. If a nigga come at you with a 25 minute round of like flawless delivery, nothing, and then you kind of stumble and your round was six minutes, does that matter? Kinda. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's that's one level. Because there ain't no official way to judge a battle, so mm-hmm. it's really like who who does who does more to you know persuade people. And being that Mook got a 24 minute round, you automatically did more to persuade the motherfucker. They're going to remember your round more than they remember verb shit. The, th- the third round is hard for me to call because um, verb, 10 years of killing, it's only right they gave me murder. Smack, smack, but even beyond that, the smack did this to you and you let him do this to us. He was talking to Mook, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, But the most impactful part of the whole third round was that like, if Mook was going to go mad long and Verb was going to go mad short and Verb knew that going into it, what better way to do it than to spit five or six minutes and end it like that? Exactly. But it wasn't five or six minutes, though. It seemed like it to me. Nah. Compared to yeah, nah, you know what that shit was like eight, nine minutes, man. That shit was like eight, nine minutes. Verb didn't. But he, like I said, he ended it perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think, you know, another thing is Verb didn't start the second and third round getting that like really doing that much he, he, kinda, he didn't start he the first round crazy up. he didn't start neither round crazy i think he started he, started the first round better than the second and the third how 
well, with the third he had stumbles in the sec in the second like he really like he didn't and to me in the second he didn't really say nothing until he was like you emotional and then he got into nah, it. the first round like verb likes to start his 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 rounds off by telling like little stories like you know addressing the crowd and it was slow in the first round it was slow in the beginning because i remember feeling like oh shit you know what i mean like i remember feeling like it's about to be ugly for verb you know what i mean but he picked up in the first he didn't start neither round crazy he didn't but the the body of work that he came with you know what i mean the shit that he had it was it was crazy like overall i gave verb the battle because of this i think he got the only clear round of the battle and on top of that mook's whole demeanor throughout the battle verb got to him he broke that armor he made him look human and that is a win in itself yeah the two things when i look back at this battle if i'm gonna because i can't lie like i'm like i thought i was gonna say mook won the third before we mm -hmm. did this mm -hmm. but like now that i'm really thinking about it if it was consolidated it would have been way more impactful you know what i'm saying and he didn't end I don't think like 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 how Verb ended it with a statement. Mook mm -hmm. didn't really do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because this is not even about the battle no more. Now it's like one thing that's not the one thing that's not yeah. being debated. Verb won the war. Yeah, well, it, it's it's like this. Mook is Mayweather, for instance. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you like who who said, who said this to me? I think it was Hollow. Like this is like if Mayweather like, lost in in decision. But I seen Mook say this, and he's he's a hundred percent right about mm -hmm. this. Um, when you got a debatable, it's crazy how you could say it's debatable, but edge and verb. But when you battling the champ, don't you got to knock that champ out? I've when always get said the that. Decision? I've always and this said is this that. is a fact. Did this he is knock a, him out? This is a. That's, Some people a, that's said, a good question. A lot of man. people said it was a two round knockout. I saw a lot of people saying that. But with me thinking he won the second Mook won the second round, I can't say that. Yeah, I mean that's a good that's a good debate. I mean, you can say Verb knocked I, him out. I, and, I, I and, do feel like that though, because I've said that on countless blogs that you can't like if you do really good against the champion, but at the same time it's like I don't know. This 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 is what I'll say. Verb might have knocked him out in that first round because that's the only clear round of the battle. If we talk about knockouts, he he had that knocked him out. Like if you win a round clearly, I, I, I don't how do you win a round clearly in boxing? You knocking a nigga out or you landing more punches? He did all the box. Gotta be crazy. He did all of that in the first round. I mean, Mook had like a lot more intricate like within the schemes and yeah, shit. It wasn't but like Mook just got washed in the first round. I mean, if the consensus got everybody's gonna sit there and say that. I thought it was a good round, but verb one clear. That's what I'm saying. If everybody's gonna say that, it's like it's like, come on, like we really just debate in the second and third round. When but it what's comes to but this what's the last battle that we said someone got knocked out in the first round when they both did good? When's the last time we ever used that as an argument tool? I mean, nah, I don't but, never remember. But nah, but it's I'm a new point now. We got to do this since we comparing, we doing all these boxing comparisons. So this this is what I will say, right? I think. If Mook's some of his stuff, if his style of writing was more consolidated, he it put him on another level, yeah. right? And that's one. Number two, the third round is hard to argue, especially yes. with so many Verb fans giving it to Mook and me kind of leaning towards Verb. I say this, I feel like you said Verb fans giving it to Mook. And I see a Verb, a lot of Verb fans saying, "All right, if I'm gonna, if I watch it again, and I'm gonna give it to Verb two one." I'm gonna give Verb the uh, um, the first two, mm -hmm. and, and, you know what I'm saying, and give Mook the third. Mm -hmm. it seems like everyone is saying Verb one two one is overwhelmingly giving the third round to Mook. That seems to be the consensus of people saying Verb two one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My whole thing is because Mook did good, so you don't want to just say three zero, but you can still argue that. Like if we saying I really think round got one. The second. I'm gonna keep saying that. I think he got the second. You know what I'm saying? But. I, I do agree, and this is this is what it is. Verb brought out a feeling, and a lot of the other battlers, a lot of the fans, and a lot of people who just watch battle rap in general, when he was saying stuff like, uh, Smack did that shit to you, you turn around, let him do it to us. I feel like us. that stuff, that type of stuff is more mm -hmm. impactful than any line you could ever, any crafty line you could ever say. Mm -mm. And with that, and especially the moment that it was, and Verb was like rapping his heart out, that's like, 
That's definitive to me. You know what I'm saying? If we're going to look at it like, oh, the lines was even, the definitive edge of the battle goes to Verb saying shit like that. And Mook didn't really, like, like, like what if Mook, Mook should have did a whole thing where he, where he was like, yo, like, I'm the most hated on rapper. And if he got into that, and then it became a discussion between him and Verb, that would have been crazy. Or like, Mook ain't really have enough, he ain't take enough angles on Verb. He didn't. Yeah. He, he worried about just scheming and shit. Like, I think the V, like, here's, here's the thing, right? That was a vegan scheme. That wasn't an angle. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a difference. He yeah. didn't really take no I angles on Verb. You know what I mean? And that's the difference. Like, when you get technical, it's it. certain stuff like that. Like, Verb's attitude. Verb, verb back against the wall approach. You know what I mean? On mm. top of getting in this nigga's face. Don't touch me. You know, um, being more direct than yeah. Mook is. On top of Mook acting the way he's acting while Verb is rapping. Like, I think all of that ties into why See, I feel like. Even I though I think Mook won the second round, what he was doing played over into how I'm looking at the whole battle. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is this is what I will say. That I believe that Verb's approach was superior to Mook's. Uh -huh. And that that is a definitive edge. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And Mook. It's, all right. When you look like pe some people are going to look at it like compare the lines. There wasn't a big gap in lines. It's just that content as far as what you're saying. That's yeah. what it is. You can compare the lines all day. Yeah. You can write down Mook's 10 craziest lines of verbs. Mook probably lines had lines more lines than verb throughout yeah. the whole battle. Probably had more lines than. You know what I mean? I will say that, but like you said, the approach, man, that's why I got an edge of the verb. He got the only clear round of the battle. His approach, it was attacking Mook, and it seemed yeah. to be getting under his skin. You see, I, and he got the crowd in New York to yell 3-0. Nobody predicted this shit. Yeah, the fact, the fact that everybody thought Mook was going to win and the fact that I didn't agree with them saying 3-0, but the fact that he that he got, got them the to, do that. to do that. That's what I'm saying. Speaks a lot. You're right about so that. So all of that, you got to, he's up 90% on the polls? 90? That's crazy. Like, you got to, like, all of this type of shit, bro. Like, like, like Mook, and, Mook and Hitman had a bet, right? Mm -hmm. Mook don't feel like he lost. And Mook got a right to not feel like you lost. I agree. Because you, yeah. you could, if you told me Mook definitively won the second and third round, I'd be like, I guess if you feel That's like what I'm it. saying. Like, Moo got the right to not feel like he yeah. lost. You know what I mean? By the end of the day, when you got these things happening, we in New York, like, mm -hmm. a nigga get the crowd to yell 3-0 on me and out here? Oh, yeah, you won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> a nigga, you do that to me anywhere. You won. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, the fact that he got him to do that, and this is verb in New York we talking about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody, nobody would have guessed this. Nobody. Like, so, yeah, I think overall Verb won the war because this is, this is, this is, this is good for Verb. Verb is in God mode now. Verb could chill for a second. You know what I mean? I hope he doesn't do a million battles. Nah, he gonna chill. You know what I'm saying? He gonna chill. I guess we just gonna have to end He the new that. king, man. He gonna sit back. He, he gonna chill. He want Lux to come to St. Louis, man. Yeah. And I think Lux owe that to him. So, Period. for, um... People watching the podcast, we just did like two hours and 45 minutes straight of video. Uh -huh. So the video went off. But um, yeah, so we're going to wrap it up anyway, though. Right. So Mook and Verb, the, the last thing I want to say is I don't like the fact that the conversation is like, yo, Mook got bodied. Verb is the new king. I think people need to be talking about how dope of a battle it was. Because at the end yeah. of the day, when you strip all that away, it's. I think the battle is a instant classic as far as like the situation and what happened the dialogue but that's coming from it from like a bar standpoint and like what they were saying it's a really great battle uh -huh. it'll probably end up a classic because that's going to be a moment people remember forever for sure so i think we need to remember the battle as a classic moment that's up there with lux and hollow that's like that same type of caliber battle and that's what i was saying about the fanboys like mm -hmm. don't fanboy it out man just <laughs> just it was a dope battle mm -hmm. that's how i feel you know what i mean so yeah um Direct, thank you, my brother John John, for coming yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, you already you know. know. I, mean? I think we gave the most like articulate and, and in depth interview. We went two and a half hours, bro. Yeah, but I knew we would. You're know you probably gonna have to chop this shit up in a different I'm gonna different. It, uh, I'm gonna let it go. Oh, you think I should chop it up based on different battles yeah, and shit? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we got in depth. It's worth it. Put out two two. 
Cause that's gonna make each battle look that, that podcast. Yeah, that's gonna make each battle look like watch it. Well, okay. you could chop them up. You know what I mean? However you wanna do well, it. I could do the first podcast for everything before Mook, and then just to release Mook as its own joint. Yeah, you could release the verb yeah. and Mook shit right away, and then get to the rest. Oh, yeah, what? I could do that. I bet. So yeah, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. <laughs>